Hi guys, today I want to show you how I made this dollhouse. You will need a lot of foam board. I'm using foam board that is one centimeter thick and start by drawing the layout of the front wall. Cut along the lines to get the shape of the roof and put these two pieces aside. You will need them later on for the staircase and now go ahead and draw the rest of the layout. Remove the foam board pieces from the windows and put them aside. You might need them later on, especially the cutouts from the doors. Now cover the edges in white paper and apply Mod Podge or any other clear drying glue that also works as a sealer to protect the edges. If you like, you can glue some clear plastic to the windows to make fake window glass. Cut off the round edges of popsicle sticks and use them to cover the entire wall. If you don't want to use popsicle sticks, feel free to use scrapbook paper that looks like wood. Turn it around and cover the top in popsicle sticks as well and the rest of the wall in scrapbook paper to make a brick wall. That's going to be the outside of the house. Now glue strips of paperboard around the windows to make window frames. As you can see I'm painting them white but I did change my mind later on and you can choose whatever color you like. Use the piece of foam board that you put aside earlier for the front door and trace it on paperboard to make door panels. Poke a hole into the door and push a toothpick through. Now cut off the ends leaving just a couple of millimeters to attach a bead for the doorknob. Now would be a good time to paint the door but I did that later because I wasn't sure which color I wanted it to be. To make the balcony door for the second floor I'm going to cut out the center and glue clear plastic and popsicle sticks to the frame. Since the door and the wall are made of foam board, the doors can easily be attached by using a toothpick. Now it's time to prepare the balcony and the floor, cut them out according to those measurements and put the rest aside in case you will need it later. I'm going to cover the balcony and the part of the floor that's going to be in the bathroom in marble contact paper and the rest in contact paper that looks like wood. Now use hot glue to attach the balcony and the floor to the front wall. Cover one side of the wall in marble contact paper for the bathroom and the outside in scrapbook paper and glue it in place. Repeat to make the other walls.
use the two triangles that you put aside earlier to make the staircase, measure them to be the same height as the dollhouse wall and create a platform at the top that's 10 centimeters wide. It's supposed to hold the floor and now make a mark at 40 centimeters at the bottom of the staircase and draw the first step. In my case, the first step is two centimeters high and one and a half centimeters deep and connect the top corner of the step and the corner of the platform. This line makes it easier to draw the rest of the stairs. I'm going to cut out a rectangle shape to make a door for a cupboard inside the staircase, cover the door as well as the door frame in popsicle sticks and use toothpicks to attach it. Cover a paperboard that is as wide as the staircase in the same contact paper as the floor and cut it into strips. In my case, half of them are two centimeters wide and the other half are one and a half centimeters wide. Here you see me gluing long wooden sticks to the walls and the floor. I got them in an art supply store. I think they are usually used to frame artwork. I'm using them as window frames and skirting boards. Poke holes into the second floor for fairy lights if you want your dollhouse to light up. Glue foam board around the edges to create a hollow space for the fairy lights and if you like you can also poke holes into one of the foam board pieces and place fairy lights in there as well before gluing it down. I forgot to leave a gap for the light switch so I'm making space for it now and I'm also going to glue foam board around it so that it doesn't move around when I'm turning the lights on and off. Since I want to be able to remove the floor in order to replace the fairy lights I'm not going to use glue, instead I'm cutting paper clips in half and then pin the floor down.
to make the balcony railing I'm using more of those long wooden sticks and small popsicle sticks. Thank you. 